are you afraid that that might happen to you one day? Because, I mean, you kind of open about this kind of stuff, which is okay. But, you know, I mean... Well, it all depends on the person you talk to about this. I did this talk a couple of years ago uh, over at Comic-Con. This one guy was in the re- research of UFOs and stuff. He was highly interested in some of the stuff I was telling him. In fact, one of the incidences I had, uh, just that back in National City, uh, I talk about angels and stuff like this, or meeting tall aliens with long blonde hair. This happened to me. I was crossing the street, heading back to my grandma's house, and next thing I know, this guy almost runs me over. Anyway, I jump out of the way, give the guy the bird. Next thing you know, he's getting in my face across the street when I'm trying to get over there. Anyway, uh, this about ready to take me out. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, a uh, motorcycle, all black motorcycle, with a little black driver, uh, come riding in between us. The guy got off the bike. The guy was over seven feet tall, long blonde hair. They soon he pulled the helmet off. He shook his head, long blonde hair down to about his waist. I'm going, okay, who is this guy? And he looks at me, you go home. You're in enough trouble as is. I'll handle this. I'm going, okay. Wait, you said you said you're in enough trouble as is? Yes, I'm in enough trouble as is. What did you do to get in that kind of trouble? I don't know. But the main thing is that you go home. You're in enough trouble as is. I'll handle this. I'm going, okay, this guy is my guardian angel, angel of death, or who knows who this guy is. But I say, he knows me. I don't know him. He looks familiar. I'm doing exactly what he's saying. I'm getting out of here. That's very odd that that a guy would just show up on a motorcycle and get out like seven foot tall, you know, dressed all all in black leather. Yep, shiny black leather. He had a black helmet on with a uh, even the uh, mask in front of it. You know, the visor was also black. So he just rolled on up. Yep, and no markings on the bike or anything. It's all black bike. Like no no plates. No plates. No nothing. Interesting. It was even on this. As I say, it gets rolling out of nowhere. It's between me and this one Mexican guy who's about ready to take my face off. And it's just, he'll, he'll handle it. So I'm going, who is this guy? So have you ever seen him again? Ever seen him since? No. Or I mean, ever seen anyone like, I mean, he said seven foot tall, blonde hair, I'm guessing probably pale skin. Yes. So somewhat like Icelandic or a Viking descent, possibly. Uh, well, basically, I was told it might have been an alien, too. Might have been an alien, too. Now, you said that aliens oh. live here on Earth. Oh, yes. Now, what? They were invited by our own government, but also this has been going on for centuries. Ever since the dawn of man, aliens have been walking this planet. And what's, what's your purpose here? To study us. Are they, had, like, they don't have any nefarious plots and no. enslaving mankind? Or anything like that? It's our own government we have to watch out for, not the aliens. Really? So what is up with our own government? Don't trust them. Don't trust them? Never trust Nothing our own government. about the government? Like, I mean, how many cover-ups and conspiracies have there been? Too many. Something happens, they try to cover it up, say, oh, uh, say a UFO crashes. Oh, it's just one of our own aircraft just crashed, you know? I'm going, oh, right, sure. And that's all, like, I mean, do you have any specific information on any, on any known conspiracies? Well, just right here. Because mm-hmm. mostly he was in the military doing like a lot of shit. Well, you're back in the military back. When were you in the military? Okay, with the Air Force. I was in the military from 19, uh, see, 1971 to 1977. And from 77 to 80, I was in the United States Navy. So you're in the Air Force first, and then you're in the Navy? Yes. And when you're in the Air Force, you saw a lot of stuff. You see a lot of things. You hear a lot of stuff. Oh, I mean, it's just, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> But as I say, you hear a lot of stuff, and when you get a high clearance, like the clearances I had, secret, top secret, eyes only, you take advantage of stuff. Well, how did you get this clearance? They give it to you. When you, okay, well, I was working with Air Crew Life Support. Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff in there, in the books and stuff, you got to read about new um, advances and stuff on you know, what aircraft technology and stuff like this, but also improvements on equipment like the helmets or the survival kit was on go inside there and stuff like this. And you have to read about it in the tech books. They uh, have you read when you first pl- you know, come on in, you know, research the new stuff. They give you clear to it right there. It says top secret, secret or eyes only. And you have to read this stuff. And you can't, but you can't tell anyone about no, it? No, you can't tell anybody about it. I mean, well, it's been like about 30 years since then, so do you think anything has been like classified that like? A lot of stuff has been classified by now. 
but as I said, when they uh, declassified Roswell, go, as I say, go to the Library of Congress, you'll see what they did to all that paperwork. Find everything out. All the meat and potatoes have been lined out. So, mm. now, with the Roswell things, I asked you before, mm. why didn't you keep it or make a copy? You just didn't want to I it. was warned by my friend, read it, and when you're done with it, send it back. If you can't send it back or if someone finds that you might have it, burn it quickly. Because you can get a lot of trouble just having that. Regardless of my clearances, or put it this way, I could get, still get in a lot of trouble. So as I said, I put everything back in the little envelope, changed the address and all that, and I sent it right back using US you know, government mailing stuff like he did with me. I sent it back the same identical way, official. This way no one would even know. Like I didn't tell anybody in my shop what I was doing. 